As-salamu alaykum. I must see Al-Hassan. He awaits me. How are you feeling on this auspicious day? It is strange, Al Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside, but I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Bassa. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Modan. And thank you, Al Hassan. I wish I could just take a look into the cave for a moment. To see what is there. There is one thing I do know about today. This is a big day for me. Our opponent. We must work harder to become worthy of this. I feel I'm making no progress at all. Now the road to initiation is long and painful. How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path, as a novice, and as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come, your new robes await. Ah, they suit you well. Come, it is time. How did you feel on that day so long ago? I felt afraid. <laughs> my palms were slick with sweat and my knees were shaking. I cannot imagine you being afraid. Allow me to share a secret with you on this important day. To have courage means to act in the midst of feeling great fear. Bassem ibn Ishaq, are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. 
Say your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Semibnus Hawk, you now follow in the Eagle's path. You have died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. Well done. Lose your focus you have again. trained me well, Roshan. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Noor. Uh, Noor. Do not strain. Save your strength. He traveled unprepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here. Drink. <laughs> Ali, he is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Mm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fuled. Leave at once. We should keep moving. 
I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings called to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. Wild, but still formidable warriors. Such familiar sights. Greetings once again, Baghdad. Show me what I have missed. Again this morning, taunting the new king. Sure, one of them would die. Arguing about a dead horse.
So this is the Hidden One's Bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he's in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something! It seems Noor mapped out this very district. Marked the factory's area to the north. What is there? Rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulab and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. <laughs>